Yeah, I like this. Yes. All right, here we go. Ready, and If the bell rings, hat happens to ring in the middle. We're still going. We will wait until she's finished. Then you may go. Go live. Again. You're sitting there, finishing up the last of your homework on a warm fall Sunday night. You can't help but be sad because you got those Sunday night blues. Hypothetically speaking, in an alternate universe, the kids of Sartal are still out having fun with their friends, not having a care in the world because they know they still have their Mondays to finish off their homework. They operate on a four-day school week, so they have never had a day of school on a Monday. Let's make that alternate universe a reality and change the Sunday night blues into Sunday night fun. The problem is, with the traditional two-day weekends, people don't have enough time to relieve stress. And the problem with the traditional five-day weeks is people don't have enough time to take care of the other tasks they need to do, like go to medical appointments and run errands. Since people only have two days off every week, there's almost no time to just sit down and relax. Dr. E. Kevin Kellaway from MedicalDaily.com in 2014 tested whether people's productivity and well-being increased <coughs> after a long weekend. He chose 30 volunteers who all worked full-time. They completed a questionnaire, one over a normal two-day weekend and the other over a three-day weekend. Every volunteer reported that their stress levels went down and that they had a more positive attitude coming back to work after the three-day weekend. Over long weekends, individuals are better able to detach from and recover from their work situations, said Kellaway. The effects of stress can be very harmful if you let them get too bad and you don't take care of it. WebMD.com, which was last updated in 2014, says that the human body is designed to experience stress and react to it, but if a person faces continuous challenges without relief or relaxation, it can become very harmful. Symptoms of uh, stress is, if the stress isn't treated, it can lead to a condition called distress. Symptoms of distress are headaches, upset stomach, elevated blood pressure, chest pain, and sleeping problems. The Occupational Safety and Health Administration declared stress a hazard of all workplaces. Stress costs American industries more than $30 billion annually. The average American works more than most citizens in other countries. Forbes magazine did a report in 2013 on how Americans work more in other countries and the problems with that. Compressed work weeks is the term used when you put in 40 hours of week, 40 hours of work in fewer than five days. It's a great way to provide employees with flexibility to meet demands outside of work and in work said Lisa Horn, co-leader of the Society of Poor Human Resource Management. In Norway and Denmark, they work about 30-hour work weeks. Since Americans work more, there is almost no time to do the extra errands that must be done. A group called the Captive Network's recent study called Homing from Work Survey gave 4,000 white-collar workers a survey to fill out, and the response wasn't shocking at all. 45% of the people interviewed leave work early for doctors or dentist appointments. Only 36 of their employers allow their employees to work with flexibility of missing one day of work a week. There are also lots of school switching to four-day weeks. EducationNorthwest.com published an article in 2014 on how their company helps practitioners, policymakers, and families in research and resources that they need help in, such as teaching and learning. The most frequent asked question to Education Northwest is about four-day school weeks. The National Conference of State Legislature says that there are 21 states with districts operating in the four-day school week schedule. Most of them either cut out their Mondays or Fridays, then they have to add on an extra hour to each day to meet the same instructional hours as five-day weeks. Um, lots of districts consider moving to four-day weeks for many reasons, such as professional development, to meet family needs for doctor appointments, and to reduce costs with minimal impacts on instruction. According to usatoday.com and Robert Balfans of John Hopkins University, there, were, there was a report made in 2012 that 7.5 million students miss at least one month of school a year. Although everydaylife.com came up with some logical cons to the four-day school weeks, there are still some pretty easy fixes. The concern is that some families would have to find child care for their younger children on the extra day off of school, but many schools have made older students available to watch the younger children for course credit 
to ease the burden on parents who work full time. There is also a current concern that some students would be less focused if the school day was extended. Many schools take this as an opportunity to give the children more physical activity. Besides a few cons, there are the four day week results are astonishingly good. Over one third of the schools in Colorado are operating on a four day school week. There were three separate studies done comparing schools from four day weeks to five day weeks. One study found that the four day schedule had some academic gain the other one found that there was no difference between the four and five day week schedule. And the last one found that the five day week schedule had slightly better academic results in some areas, but not all. Most, re most researchers cautioned that because of inconclusive results, decisions to change to a four day schedule should not be based on test scores, but rather other concerns because the test scores will not change dramatically. For cost savings, they vary district to district though. The Education of Commission of the States examined the financial data of six different schools that made the switch to four-day weeks. They found a 0.4 to 2.5% savings. All superintendents said, although the savings were minimal, it still uh, is a reason to switch because some savings is better than none. We need to educate the people on the advantages of four-day weeks so we can convince them that it's in every person's best interest. We will inform all the local companies. We will tell the companies the different facts about the four-day weeks and how it can help them in the long run. We will tell them about a company called Treehouse who operates on a four-day work week. We will also tell them about Idaho Daily and Forbes magazine and the information that I found from them. We will also tell them the facts of stress and how it can put detriment on their employees if it's not taken care of. The information will work because we will stress on the pros of four-day weeks, but we will also address the cons and how to fix them. We will also need to inform the school board, the principals, superintendents, and the community so we can have four-day school weeks. We will again inform the people listed above and up of all the qualities that four-day school weeks can have. We will talk about the Colorado schools and what they found. We will also tell them the facts that education work must affect. The information will convince the community and the leaders of our school. We will stress on the amount of success other schools have had in Colorado. If my education is followed, there will be many things that will improve. There would be improvement in both businesses and schools. There would be an increase of attendance. There would be an increase of business and school savings. It would give everyone an increase in free time to run errands. The stress rate will go down in adults and children and make everyone more happy and healthy. There would be a decrease in the amount of unnecessary doctor appointments during school or work. There would be a decrease in stress-related costs. I need your help in order to make four-day school weeks and four-day work weeks a reality. Contact information for businesses. You can contact the founders of Treehouse, Ryan Carson or Alan Johnson, to talk to them about their company. They can be reached at 555-632-1098. Tell them that you are interested in four-day work week and what they have found. Contact information for schools. Contact our local school board. The best two people to contact would be Michelle Meyer or Pam Raiden. Michelle can be reached at 320-761-2000, and Pam can be reached at 320-250-0500. When you contact them, tell them you are interested in changing the Sartell School District to a four-day school week. You could also contact Education Northwest. When you contact them, ask for SCOOPAC at 555-453-0932. Tell them that you are interested in the four-day school week. And now that you have followed my instruction and education, we have made the alternate universe from you.